Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to evaluate the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, as you can see over here. And here is very first example, and we are going to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. As you can see, this has three rows and three columns. And one more thing, the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix can also be written as like over here that I showed you in a like a straight up vertical lines. And here I have wrote down this determinant of this given 3 by 3 matrix. The very first thing we are going to do is draw a horizontal line like this way the very first thing next is we are going to crisscross we're going to multiply first this way we're going to multiply negative 4 times 3 is going to be negative 12 then you always put a minus sign and we're going to multiply the other way around negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 let's simplify so this become negative 12 negative and negative become positive 10 so that's going to give us negative 2. so this negative 2 is going to go in the opposite direction right up here underneath this negative 5. let's do the next thing over here we're going to crisscross to the next pair over here so this is going to be a negative 2 times 0 is going to be 0 put a minus sign again 1 times 3 is 3, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So this negative 3 is going to go in this opposite direction, negative 3. And now the next thing is I want you to look at this, the very first column on the left hand side, negative 4, 5. Just copy it down and write it down, negative 4, 5. Let's do the same thing, crisscross method. 1 times 5 is going to be 5 then put a minus sign let's do this way the other way around 0 times negative 4 is going to be a 0 so 5 minus 0 is 5 so this 5 is going to come in the middle right up here now our next step is just multiply out these numbers so 2 is going to get multiplied with negative 3 negative 6 with 5 negative 5 with negative 2 let's take care of that one that's going to be negative 6 minus 30 plus 10 and if you simplify this thing that is going to give us negative 26 so thus our answer turns out to be negative 26 as you can see over here and i have showed you two different ways to write these determinants and here is our next example and we are going to evaluate the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix and once again the the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix could also be written as like as over here as I showed you vertical straight up lines and here I have wrote down this determinant. So the very first thing we are going to draw a horizontal line right up here. The very first thing we are going to do is we're going to crisscross these numbers. Negative 1 times 12 is going to be a negative 12. Then I'm going to put always minus sign. And then the other way around negative 8 times 4 is negative 32. Let's simplify negative 12 negative and negative becomes positive 32 that is going to give us 20 so this 20 is going to go in the opposite side over here i wrote down this 20 right here let's take care of the next these numbers crisscross these one as well negative 7 times negative 8 is going to be positive 56 then we put a negative sign and then 12 times 9 is 108 let's simplify so that's going to give us negative 52 so this negative 52 is going to go in this opposite direction over here 
and now we're gonna put down the number over here for that one let's look at this number this column negative one four the left hand side let's copy and paste over here negative one and four let's do the crisscross method once again between these numbers negative 4 times 9 is going to be 36 I just wrote down and then minus sign and then negative 7 times 1 negative 1 is going to be positive 7 36 minus 7 is going to be 29 so this 29 is going to be written in the middle right up here so the next thing is we are going to multiply out these numbers what that means is negative 10 is going to multiply out with negative 52 3 is going to multiply out with 29 and 2 with 20 let's simplify that one so that is going to give us 520 here this is going to make plus 87 and then here plus 2 times 20 is 40 and if we add all these number that turns out to be 600, 647 and here is our answer turns out to be 647 and I showed you both ways we can write as a determinant both are acceptable and here is your assignment can you this do this one on your own you can take your time Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.